And joining us now to provide more context on this ongoing crisis and the chaos in Haiti is former Haitian Prime Minister Laurent Lamothe. We thank you so much for being here with us. First off, our condolences for all of the upheaval in your home country right now. What was your reaction when you heard of the death of, of the president there? Well, we were, I was completely devastated. And the country is, is the, the people are, are devastated. The, the Haiti is in mourning. It's a sad day for Haiti and for Haitians. And according to the Miami Herald, there are currently only 10 elected officials in the entire country. The interim prime minister has yet to be sworn in, and the head of the Supreme Court died of COVID last week. Is there anything in your constitution that can serve as a, a sort of roadmap to help navigate this crisis? Well, the, the constitution in, in its article 149 calls for, if in the absence of the president, the Council of Ministers with the existing Prime Minister carries through uh, the, the management of the country until the, the and have 60 days to carry out elections. So since the elections, they were already planned for the 26th of September. So that timeline falls exactly um, right within the framework of uh, for elections. And what security entity is responsible for the safety of the president? Have they given any explanation as to how this happened? Well, um, Haiti has a police force, as you know, that was trained um, by the, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the components were trained by the international community. Um, there is also a special unit uh, for the presidential security that have over, you know, a thousand guards in there. But, you know, the news that I have myself, uh, you know, straight from the front lines from Haiti is that um, the, the, all, the, uh, all the mercenaries, they're still holed up. So there is 28 of them, and there are 28 Venezuelan nationals. Uh, and out of that, two of them have been arrested. And, and the rest, the 26, they're holed up in a home uh, and, and, you know, basically, so there's a lot of shooting going on still, but, um, you know, so, so the good news is, you know, they've not escaped. Um, and the, the initial indications is that all of the mercenaries, they're still holed up and the police is surrounding them. We've been hearing that Port-au-Prince is described as a ghost town at this time. In a statement, Joseph Lambert, the head of the Senate, said that the Haitian National Police and Haitian Armed Forces are in control of the security of the country. The president, of course, was just assassinated. How are residents of Haiti supposed to feel like things are safe? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a very difficult situation, and everybody needs, certainly needs to stay calm and uh, need to give the security forces time to do their job. There is a state of emergency um, which will allow, which will give time for the security forces to, you know, do their job and and, uh, and certainly can, you know, arrest those foreign mercenaries and understand who is the financier of this operation because mercenaries are very expensive and they're paid by, you know, they're certainly paid so they have to follow the money trail and to get to the perpetrators and to the to the financiers of this heinous and this you know horrific assassination against the country's democratically elected president and the, and, and the president was leading many fights on many fronts for reforms that he wanted to do in different sectors of the economy and uh, and he had received threats so you know he was aware that uh, it was a very very dangerous and tenuous situation and, uh, and they carried out um, on, on some of those threats. So now, you know, an, an investigation has to kick in to find out who did it, who paid for it, and for, the, and for those person to be held accountable. What kind of action would you like to see, if any, from the United States? Well, first of all, the United States is a great ally of Haiti and, um, and, ha and is very supportive of of the election. So, so one thing is very important is for the electoral process to continue and for Haiti to have, you know, elected officials for, for you know, this in September, in uh, February 7th, 2022, to have a new president, a new Congress, um, and elected officials, you know, to, to fill some of the voids that, are we, that we are seeing right now. So, you have, so the U.S. can play a, a, a very much a leadership role in that aspect, as well as a leadership role 
uh, in this in this uh, in the security environment of the country. Do you think at all that this crisis could be a tipping point that, that forces many on the island to want to leave? Well, I mean, this this was you know a very well financed and coordinated attack to kill the president of the country, and that was a targeted attack. It was a hired it was it was hired guns uh, that carried out this work. The people of Haiti, um, you know, I mean, what they want, they want peace. They want, you know, an environment conducive to be able to find jobs, and and they want security. So, and and, and, and the, the authorities have to rise to the occasion and, and be able to provide it. And, and and catching these guys would be an important point to to get to who's behind it, and that's the key to it. And for this crime not to be, um, you know, not to be uh, let as you know the investigation continues it has we have to get through it and and find the people you know that that carried this through and that gave the orders back in 2015 you were among a group of people barred from the presidential race in haiti obviously things are quite different now and it's once again a presidential election year might you consider a run well you know i get asked this question you know in every interview that i do I, and, and what i say is you know I, I want to continue to help the country. I want to continue to help Haiti. And I don't think you need to be president or prime minister to do so. Former Haitian Prime Minister Laurent Lamothe, we thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.